Hey Vogue, Lauren here, and I'm going to be showing you what I wear in a week. Yeah, okay. Hey, what's up? Hello, welcome to or back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Lauren and I post all things fashion, lifestyle, and my small business. Today's video is going to be very exciting. I am doing another video inspired by Vogue. On their YouTube channel, they have a series where they bring celebrities on and they basically show what they wear in a week. So the series is called Seven Days, Seven Looks. So I picked out seven outfits today. These are things that I would personally do in a week. I am very excited. I made everything all Vogue-like. I have two cameras rolling right now. I'm just very excited. So let's get right into it. This is my first outfit. It is my gym outfit. This set is from Gymshark. It's a brown grayish color and I really like it. And I also love this band right here because it's like a baby pink and it just looks really cute together. I'm kind of clashing brands, but I feel like when you're going to the gym, these are the brands that you see the most. So it's okay. I have my Nike shoes, my Nike hat, and then I just have this white zip up that I thrifted a while ago. It just makes me feel comfy. I probably wouldn't wear it while I am working out, but I would wear it whenever I'm walking into the gym and I'm walking out. This outfit, I am obsessed. It looks so cute. It makes me look so sporty. I haven't been to the gym in a while, so I would definitely pull up and rock this outfit. It has everyone's stinger. Gymshark literally has the best sets ever, and their leggings feel like butter on your legs. It is a little bit pricey, but I feel like they're definitely worth the money. Oh, I almost forgot. If I had a real gym bag, I would definitely bring it, but this is all that I've been using recently. It's just like a little backpack. I guess it's really cute. It's, oh my gosh. Wait, I'm, whoa, hold on. I also need a water bottle. This one is from Target. My sister got it for my other sister for Christmas a few years ago and she never uses it, so I stole it. But yeah, now I'm ready. This backpack is big enough to hold my water bottle, it holds my AirPods, maybe like a sweat rag, and that's all I need. So now this is the complete look. This is outfit number two. It is a post office run. If you didn't know already, I run a small business all by myself. I sell secondhand clothing items. I sell thrifted tote bags. I also am a personal stylist and I do it all secondhand. So if you are in need of fashion help and you just have no idea where to start, shoot me an email, check out my website. I have lots of information on there. This is probably what I would wear to the post office because there and back, it's a whole 10 minutes out of my house. I have nothing to look good for. Probably most days I am in a big t-shirt. So all I did, put on a pair of shorts, slip on some sandals and I'm out the door. It looks pretty bad, I know, but I thrifted this bag and I have fit so many packages in here and it has saved me so much time at the post office. I just packaged up some orders last night so I thought it'd be cute to bring it in here. Lastly, I just have my keys to get me from here to there and I have my hair just in a claw clip. This is like a big sack. It's really heavy most of the time. Last night I only packaged five orders, but it still makes the bag really heavy for some reason. This look is very model off duty, I guess. I feel like anytime you have a graphic tee and jean shorts, you automatically look super cute. And since cloth clips are coming back, they're just really easy to get your hair up out of the way, especially in the summertime because it's really hot outside and it's just easy. So yeah, this is my post office look. So this is outfit number three. It is a lazy day off at home or a lazy work day at home. Sometimes when I've been laying in bed for a few days, I kind of just need to get in a cute but comfy outfit so I'm more put together and I'm not just in like a big oversized t-shirt. So this is it. <laughs> I got this set a while ago from a small Instagram boutique called Modish Boulevard. I actually have featured them quite a few times. So if you've been keeping up with my videos, you've definitely seen this set, but it is just so comfy. I've never felt sweatpants like these. I just feel so cute yet so comfy in this. And I also have my iPad and my computer because it's how I do all of my work. Also, whenever I'm just lounging around, I usually just wear socks, so that's why I have these white socks. Fun fact, I only wear white socks usually. I don't know why, but I won't wear any of the socks. Like, I keep buying myself white socks, but then they usually get lost in the dryer, I guess, and I just keep buying more and more white socks. I don't wear any other color. I also have these slides, which are from H&M, and they are the most comfortable pair of slides I have ever worn in my entire life. Here, I gotta sit down for this one. So they are so comfortable. It's like a cloud on my foot. It makes me so much taller, so I really appreciate that. Being 5'2", I appreciate any help that I can get. I walked past these a few times at H&M, and I finally got them. I don't really know what drew me to them the last time that I bought them, but I love them. They're so comfy. Sometimes when I'm packaging orders, since I stand, 
I just wear these because it's just much better on my feet rather than standing on the tile and they're just so comfy I also just have my glasses because usually after staring at a computer all day I have a huge headache this chair doesn't belong here it belongs in the other corner but I usually sit here in this chair and I use this blanket and I just do my work like this also for my hair I just put it up in a ponytail because Usually if it's just dry or oily or anything, I just want to get it out of my face because I can't work if my hair is dirty and it's just in my face. So I usually just put it up in a high ponytail. I use a scrunchie because it doesn't give me as much of a headache as a regular hair tie does. And usually if you have a claw clip, you already know where I'm going with this. If you try to lean back, you can't because it just presses on my head and it just gives me a headache. And I get headaches very frequently from just working on my computer all the time and just straining my eyes. So anything that I can do to help prevent a headache, I will do. This is my Lazy Day Off look. So this is a casual college school day. I really like these jeans because I have been dreading to wear jeans recently, especially in the summer. But these are from Fashion Nova. They're the skinny fit, but they're not too tight. And the rips just allow a lot of like air and just don't let my legs overheat too easily. So I really appreciate that. And I really love the wash of these. I don't really have anything like this. Then I have this top, which is just a little bit different from a normal white t-shirt. The scrunching just adds a really cute detail. I also have these Nike made blazers. I had these a few months ago and I love them so much. They're so cute and they match with everything. This is my backpack that I got last year from Target. It actually holds a lot of stuff right now. It looks very flimsy but by the time I put all my school supplies and everything else it is very heavy and lastly I have my glasses as you can see I probably wouldn't wear them 24 7 but it's just great to have them handy just in case I do need them obviously with college maybe one day I'll wear like biker shorts and a huge t-shirt maybe one day I'll wear gym clothes because I might head to the gym after if this was a cute but casual look this is what I would do I also would probably just keep my hair down I think it just really like frames my face very well so yeah this is my school day look This is my thrifting look. I go thrifting very often, so whenever I do, I like to be very comfortable. It gets very hot in there sometimes, especially after like five. I feel like they purposely turn off the air so that their customers leave, which is rude. But anyway, today we're just going for a black and white look with my thrifting bag. So with this comfy look, I just have some biker shorts, which I love these. These are from Amazon. They have the little crossover and just makes you look snatched. And then for my top, it is this tank top, but it also has a built-in bra, which again, like I said, when thrifting, I just want to be fully comfortable and relaxed because I kind of have to get in the zone. I can't really thrift if I'm not in the mood or I'm not comfortable or if I'm like fixing my clothes all the time. So I just gotta get in the zone and get comfortable put in my headphones and do what I need to do. Then I just put this white button up over it because I'm not fully comfortable with going out like this yet, but we're almost there. I feel like it's around the corner. So I just added this on top. It is a white button down, very lightweight, very oversized, and it just kind of gives a very like chic and really cute look. And then for the shoes, these are not the best shoes, but I do wear these sometimes when thrifting. I actually wore them yesterday. They are these Converse. Who would have thought I'm wearing my wet socks again? Then for my hair, I usually just put it up in a high ponytail Again, I'm using the scrunchie not even for fashionable purposes, so please don't come for me. I am using it because it doesn't give me a headache as quickly as regular hair ties do. Especially in the summer, I just like to get my hair up and out of my face. And I know you guys see this bag, super cute. It is a bag from my online thrift store. It is a canvas tote bag. It's made out of recycled polyester. I made these designs and I actually put them onto the bag myself. So if you're looking for a thrifting bag or just a bag in general that has a cute design, I would definitely recommend to check out my website and they're really affordable. So yeah, this is my thrifting look while still looking cute and stylish all at the same time. Here is my content creation day look. Usually on content creation days, I take this big basket which is slowly falling apart, but I am going to use it until it completely falls apart. But basically, I use this basket and I just fill it up with a bunch of shoes, a bunch of clothes, I put my cameras, my tripods, and everything which are being used right now, which is why you don't see them in here. But yeah, I fill this thing up to the brim, like it gets pretty high, and it's just so easy to carry everywhere, to carry back and forth to my vehicle. As for the outfit, I just have a corset top, which I have styled so many different ways. I thrifted it like a year and a half ago, maybe like almost two years ago. I'm not too sure. But I love this corset so much. It's so flattering, it's so cute. I love when it's paired 
with pants like these because it kind of just gives that hourglass figure because when you're tighter on the top and then you have more like baggier bottoms I guess it just gives that look then for added accessories I have some necklaces and some rings and I also added this hat that I thrifted and I usually add this hat to outfits that are like not too crazy or they just don't have anything really going on because this hat is an adventure itself it's very casual it's also very comfy I actually like this outfit because of how comfy it is and especially when driving to my locations or just getting ready to take the pictures because changing into six or seven outfits can get very tiring so i just like to make the first one very cute but very comfy also i can't decide i think it's just the hat i feel like i can look good in hats because i looked good in the nike hat but i think it's just this hat maybe it's because it's like bigger or i have no idea so yeah this is my content creation day one This is the last outfit. It is a summer afternoon out. I recently talked about this dress in another video, but t-shirt dresses are so perfect for summertime. This was so easy to throw on. It's so flowy, so comfy. I love the ones that are a little bit more chic than an average t-shirt dress. Like this one has the collar, it has a color block moment, and I really appreciate that. I also really like the length because it's not too short, it's not too long, and I really just like this dress overall. I also paired this outfit with these baby heels that I have been obsessed with recently. They look so cute and I look so chic without even trying, like the straps on top and the little heel. With this outfit, I wanted to go with black accessories, so that's why the shoes are black. I also have this black shoulder purse. I really appreciate the gold detailing because it ties together my earrings, my rings, and my necklace. I also have black sunglasses, which I can either wear or just wear them on my head. So for my hair, I did this half up claw clip look, and I've never done anything like this before. It looks very pretty and kind of professional, so I think I'm digging it. All together, this is so cute, and I am so ready to head out the door. This is my last look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys liked my Vogue parody. I put a lot of work into this video, so if you could, be sure to stay and subscribe, like, comment, do all those fun things. Stay tuned for all my fashion, lifestyle, and small business content. Okay, bye!